Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about Emilio El Zamora and the Marquez brothers splitting up. Now this is a massive change for Mark because Emilio El Zamora has been there from day one of Mark's career helping him to go in the directions and make the right moves to get him to where he is within the championship today. Now he does have a lot of contacts within Repsol so it was quite a big change or a weird change for Mark to make and Alex. However, I guess maybe there was some other issues that they haven't announced behind it all. Now, Al Zamora was missing at the Silverstone Grand Prix and people did raise a few eyebrows not seeing him. And the official line at the time was that Al Zamora had COVID-19. However, News started filtering out between Silverstone and Austria that maybe all was not well between the Marquez brothers and Al Zamora, which turned out to be correct. Um, from my understanding, you know, Mark has selected a new manager, and I'll go into him in a in a small bit, but. You know, Al Zamora has done an awful lot for both Marquez brothers not the easiest person to get on with in the paddock from my understanding but caused a lot of um, the main rivalry between Marquez and uh, Rossi he didn't you know, try and calm it down he kind of poured more fuel onto the fire and I get it in a way you know he is a competitor at heart he is also a world champion let's not forget winning the 125cc world championship in 1999 beating Marco Melandri but you know he does have other interests for example he runs a technical school that is sponsored by Repsol actually um, helping young mechanics and engineers go through the ranks to get into the highest levels of motorsport but I don't think we're going to see Al Zamora beside the Marquez brothers going forward and from my understanding Mark has signed up with a guy called Jimmy Martinez now Jimmy Martinez used to be a wakeboarder and during his negotiations for sponsorship with Red Bull, Red Bull offered him a job as in their marketing team um, and he progressed through the business to become head of motorsport marketing which basically was is that he would manage the portfolios of all the riders under the team which is a massive feat in itself considering the size of Red Bull's uh, driver portfolio both in two wheels four wheels airplanes whatever so it is a very very interesting space for this guy he definitely knows what it's going on with uh, or how to do the job so I think Mark is putting in a lot of trust into him Joe you know, he is an unknown within um, how would you say the standalone managers he does have a lot of experience from Red Bull but Again, I think it'll be good for Mark, but it just shows that, in my view, that there could be a psychological change happening with Mark Marquez, you know what I mean? Now, maybe he's a bit annoyed, or was a bit annoyed, that um, Al Zamora tied him to a four-year deal with HRC, and HRC is in the middle of an abyss at the moment. Uh, I don't know, but uh, I'm sure the reasonings for the change will come out over time. Um, but I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the change? Do you think it'll be good for Marquez? Do you think it'll be bad for the Marquez brothers? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below and I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. I just want to take a minute to also thank you for watching my videos and the support that you've shown so far. If you haven't subscribed already and you would like to subscribe, it would mean an awful lot to me if you did. I'm starting this channel realistically so that we can all enjoy MotoGP together with the aim of streaming a live video when the GP races are on.